my channel. Happy New Year and I hope you guys all had a fantastic Christmas. I am back and I am back with my 2021 favourites video. This is going to be all the sort of products and everything that I just went to constantly in 2021. I'd stopped doing YouTube but I am back on my grind this time. This year I really, really want to just focus on myself. I want to be positive and stuff and be as creative as I possibly can be. That's all that's kind of been happening with me, but I am hoping to have a little schedule drawn up and some videos up. Sometimes you just, you need to, you just need to focus on the things that matter. Sorry if I keep on playing about with my hair, it's getting longer and thicker and I'm just not used to it. Didn't wear a whole lot of makeup, but there is definitely some go-tos here that I just constantly went to. There is a lot of kind of drugstore stuff, but there is also some sort of higher end stuff as well. I mainly kind of stuck with P. Louise just because I just feel that her products right now are incredible and I feel like she is such a good role model. I have stepped away from the brands that I was kind of stuck in a rut with and I am now taking myself away from that and I am exploring the new stuff. Primark has been a go-to for me with mascara. This is the 3D Lash Effect, the PS Extreme Length and Volume and Curl Mascara. It's just in black. It is really, really nice and it was really, really affordable as well. I think it was something like £3. And for an everyday, daily sort of mascara that's cheap, affordable and it does work, this is absolutely fantastic, guys. So I highly, highly, highly recommend getting along to Primark if you guys want to try some of their mascaras. I think they're affordable. I think they are well worth the hype. Yeah, as I was saying there, Primark definitely do have a couple of hidden gems in their little sort of makeup selection that they have. They don't have like the best and the biggest range, but they do come up, come out with some really, really nice frequent collections and stuff. My hair's just not sitting right at all today. I don't know what's going on with it. It's like just flicking out and all this. Another product from Primark is their little blushes. These are their PS Blush High Pigment Blushers. They do have these in a couple of other colours as well, but this is in the shade Rosewood. And I love that they have the shade names and stuff on them. They are super, super pigmented. And guys, I'm going to tell you this. Like, this was like, look at that. Like, super, super pigmented. Really, 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 really good pigmentation. And they perform really, really well as well. I think this was like a pound or like a pound fifty or something. Something insanely crazy like that. But honestly, Primark definitely have a couple of hidden gems in their little selections. So make sure you check them out if you are just looking for some like daily, everyday makeup. Moving on to P. Louise. I have got so many products from P. Louise that I absolutely love and adore. I have just been absolutely loving that brand just now. I just think that everything that she comes out with is phenomenal. I haven't had an issue with anything. You guys are probably going to know I'm going to include this. This is the P. Louise base. I don't even think I have to say anything, guys. Like, it's incredible. It is absolutely fantastic. If you want to improve your, like, eyeshadow game or, like, if you want to experiment with colours and stuff, this is the way to go. Definitely apply an eyeshadow base like this first then do your eyeshadow and stuff. These make my eyeshadows so much more brighter and they pop and they just blend so much nicer. I also use the Acid Rain Blank Canvas a lot. I've actually just got this one that's actually unopened but I do use this a lot when I'm cutting my crease and stuff. That's like the only product that I use now. These little colourful ones as well, I get these in the budget box and I do actually have this colour in my waterline just now. It's called Touch of Frost and these are absolutely stunning and they do not irritate, they do not break me out, they don't do anything crazy like that. So I've definitely built up a good selection of P. Louise this year. Definitely hope to build up more of her sort of newer stuff that she's going to be coming out with. My hair is just really not sitting right, so sorry if I'm like, like trying to get it out my road because it's just, it's been weird today. On the subject of P. Louise, again, these are her little mini eyebrow pencils and I actually didn't know she came out with these until like the end of December there and these are just an absolute godsend. Loads and loads of product, I'm not going to wind it away up but just trust me when I say it, um, you do get loads and loads of product and again I'm just going to swatch this, that's that colour there but it's perfect for my eyebrows at the moment and these are just like so kit friendly, like look at the size of it, stunning, like honestly. If you need eyebrow pencils for your kit, these are the way to go. They are fantastic. I've also been using a lot of her lip products. So this is her lip liner in the shade Standards. Again, it's on my lips today. I love it. 
honestly if you haven't tried P. Louise definitely go and try it. I actually filmed this eye look as well so if you guys want to see that I will have up on Sunday's video at 9am. I'm still getting used to this little routine I'm trying to get myself in. And I did actually use these P. Louise palettes in it. This one is the P. Louise Winter Wonderland. I actually got this in the Christmas budget box. It was absolutely beautiful. There was this one or there was a green and red one I believe and they're both absolutely stunning. I just used a variety of these kind of shades. I did also use the black in this one. This is the P. Louise Going Solo palette. It's the sort of black and grey one. I purchased this separately because I recently had a client who actually asked for a silver eye. I don't know why, but just going through all my collection and stuff, I realised I didn't have a, a decent enough palette that had a silver in it. So I thought, this is like kit friendly enough. It's not too big either. And the shades are absolutely stunning. So yeah. So if you guys want to see how that Blue Winter Wonderland palette performs, then stay tuned for Sunday's video. Still on eyeshadows and stuff, these two palettes this year have been my go-to. The Be Perfect Jack Josser, is it Jack Josser palette? This one. This is absolutely phenomenal. If I could launch any sort of kind of palette, this would be what it would look like. I'd probably have a few lighter shades in there somewhere, but this palette's been insane. It's absolutely stunning. Beautiful pigmentation, like next to no fallout to be quite fair. Things like a dream. Received this Manifest palette by a Manifest palette by Be Perfect. This was in a P. Louise box, I believe. I've been playing with this quite a bit as well. Absolutely stunning. Just these shades are all a bit of me right now, especially in winter. I'm like del delving into like all these sort of browns and sort of nudie shades and stuff. They are the two palettes that I have been using a lot of recently. Two foundations that I have been using quite a lot this year are obviously my Revolution Matte Base. This is just cheap and cheerful and affordable in the shade F1 and this is just good for just chucking on a foundation during the day and it's very very affordable as well. Also if you get it on sale it goes for like £3 so even better. But I have also been navigating to my NARS Ars Natural Radiant foundations as well. I bought a couple of these and the shade Light 5 Fiji seems to be my go-to right now. I seem to just keep on going to it. I think it's just because I just love the texture, love the coverage. It's like you can build it up, but it's not too full coverage, but you can make it very, very full coverage. It's not drying, it makes your skin look so, so smooth. It's just really, really nice. And I've been using the, these foundations as well on some clients and I've had nothing but good feedback as well. I'm really liking that foundation. Obviously it is a little bit more on the pricer side, it's maybe £28 upwards sometimes. Um, I think I got it for like £30 or £29 at one point. It does go on sale quite a lot of times but it is more on the sort of high end side so like it is a bit of an investment but it is actually a really good investment. I have been trying to kind of use up my powders this year. You guys will know these wee revolution powders, I absolutely love them. Cheap and cheerful, they do the job. They work absolutely fine for like three pounds or something but trying to use these up these are fantastic my freedom bronzer it's not even out anymore i'm still trying to use it these are all just products that i've just went to all year i actually really need to find a bronzer to replace that bronzer because it's like so out of date it's probably bad for my skin but hey ho i've also been using the elf hale glow setting powder i've been really really loving this just now i feel like it definitely gives a kind of flawless filtered kind of look on the skin and it definitely makes your skin look a lot more sort of smoother and it has that slight sheen to it. Um, this one is in the shade Light Clear but I'm pretty sure it does put like a little sheen on your skin but it's lovely, it's lovely nonetheless and again it's affordable. My little Fenty primer, I've been using this a lot, I think I'm just trying to use it up to be fair but I just like that because it's lightweight and it makes my skin feel quite soft as well whenever you put it on so really really happy with that. Last product I'm going to speak about is a lip product. I'm loving my peaches little lip glosses. I always go to them as well. These little ones. I always go to them. Gloss I just cannot put down just now is the Bonnie Dolly High Shine Lip Gloss and this one is in the shade Dolly. I have been using this absolutely constantly. I am just absolutely obsessed with this right now. My hair keeps going in my lip gloss and it's really, really annoying. This lip gloss is absolutely beautiful. I'll leave their website and stuff linked below. But this lip gloss is absolutely stunning. Like, 
and it smells delicious as well it's like cupcakes or something vanilla cupcakes I'm actually surprised I've got any left to be fair. That is all the products that I have been loving for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourite products were last year, if there was any favourites. Thank you guys so much for watching this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.